G'day mate, and welcome back to Captain Industry with me, Judy. Um, first off, first off, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys for the wonderful comments that you guys have left. Even though I've been a little bit under the weather, I caught flu mild from, you know, the lovely Captain Industry civilization. The lovely workers, they get they gave me flu mild, which then progressed into flu severe and then finally flu deadly and then I got some medical packs too and we're back down to flu mild hopefully hopefully we'll see how this recording goes but first off I need to thank you guys I need to thank you guys for lovely comments you've left even though I've been unwell along with liking the videos and also just sitting back and enjoying the series uh at the same time I also need to thank you guys well thank thank you guys that are going above and beyond going above and beyond becoming youtube members or choosing to support across the patreon keeping the channel ad free and today we need to thank uh, another another youtube member another brand new excavator uh we're gonna be thanking matthias yes uh thank you matthias for choosing to support the channel even though knowing i had no hope in hell of pronouncing your surname uh we're gonna send you off with a couple of friends because the nuclear strike is over uh we have excavators happy to work again which is good because we need some rock uh before we get into the rock i'm going to uh send a few of these guys off to the great uh beyond you're meant to have a Oh, you do have a fifth. Cool. Uh, because we need some more mega trucks. We need some more mega trucks to get some more jobs done because we have a few things that we need to get done in the next episode or two. Uh, first thing is, um, I need to talk about, well, we bridged across here. We bridged across here with rock because uh, rock is very stable, which means I can fill in everything on the right hand side with dirt potentially. Uh, but our dirt's currently going somewhere else. At the moment, I have just said across, well, this whole team of mega excavators over here to get as much rock and dirt as possible because we have some problems we need to fill in. Um, and number of problems and number of things we need to fill in hence why more mega trucks so uh one more digging two uh more rock more rock because our docks we already have one dock set up two docks set up and i'm bridging out here to get a third dock set up because i've worked out the minimum distance between two docks so we can try to get as many docks in i'm hoping i get a third one in here and a fourth one in here which currently means our quartz ship is completely blocked and can't do anything which is okay for the moment because we're not really using quartz currently, but we're going to start using it in the not too distant future. At the same time, I also need more rock to fill in around here so we can get more farms because we need more farms because we need more food. Because although I'm feeding people 50% uh, extra rations, we're down to 17 months worth of supply. I could feed them normal rations, but then again, I, I like stuffing the people, you know, making them fat. Uh, at the same time, we are leveling out the iron area just so it's level at 12 uh realistically we're going to bring it down to height two same as everything else but for the moment i'm just going to try and level it out uh also have this mega crew here they're making a beeline for gold um because i want to get to mining gold in the not too distant future as for coal well we're, we're, we're digging out coal as quickly and as slowly as the small excavators can and we're just putting it in a giant hill for the moment Eventually, we'll do something with the coal. We're, we're not current. We're not quite hundred percent on. Well, actually, maybe with the nuclear reactor, we're now on hundred percent off coal, and just on trade import coal. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually not sure about that one. But at the moment, we're just going to stack up some more coal. It's perfectly fine. I do. We are filling in the old coal mine with dirt, um, mainly because rock is used for. Rock is very good for making piers. Yes, rock is very good for use at making piers, so we might as well fill in dirt in any areas where we're already peered in on all four sides and we can just fill it in with whatever. Uh, I do need to send another digging team over here. I need to excavate over here so we can double food processing. Um, I really, really want to set up more food processing. I basically have the room between here and, and the limestone. Also, um, if we can get this filled in, I can use some of this area as well. So we have a decent amount of food processing area. I just need to get a lot of filling done in. Uh, before we get into any of that, I need to talk about today's episode. Today's episode, today's episode, today's episode. We have finished research, okay? We're all researched up. Uh, we've got everything up until research level, uh, lab level five which means then I need to get research pack number four up and working, which we're going to worry about in the future. But before I start worrying about the next research, I want to finish off some of our existing research. So a couple of things we just need to make an agreement about. We all know what they are, what they are and how they work. Uh, first off, we have the greenhouse two. It's like the greenhouse one, except it's two. Uh, it's a little bit more efficient on yield. Uh, 
and it's going to give us a little bit of extra crops. The cashew is going to cost us a little bit more water, a little bit more fertilizer. That's fine. Uh, next is the electric boiler. Electric boiler is like a normal boiler, except it uses electricity. Uh, the catch is it creates 24 uh, high pressure steam and uses 1.3 megawatts worth of power. And if we go to power generation and we look at a high pressure steam, tur a high pressure turbine number one, that gives us one megawatt worth of mechanical energy for 24 steam. So it's useless. That's pretty much it. Um, you will never get a power positive situation from running these guys. Even if you manage to team it up with low pressure turbine, 1.3, you could possibly get 1.5 hum, 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 mechanical power out of it. But then when you convert the mechanical power to electrical power, it's always going to be a negative. So it's never going to be power positive. It also requires maintenance level two, which we haven't set up uh, yet. But that is going to be part of today's episode. Uh, today's episode, I wish to get uh, electronics and maintenance. We got electronics a little while ago. We actually have a very large box full of electronics. But I want to get the maintenance two set up today. Now, maintenance one, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to extend you out one extra building. Because that's going to be the maximum we can reach. Uh, and then maintenance two is under buildings, 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 buildings. We have a maintenance depot at level two which requires a mechanical parts, which conveniently we happen to have, like right here, also is going to require some of the electronics, which if I ran an electronics belt right in front, we'd be set and ready to go. So our plan is going to be putting them... Uh, yeah, you'll have to go there. Uh, putting them roughly about there. Now, before I set up that, there's a couple of other things I want to get set up. Uh, first one is I want to set up solar panels. Now, solar panels are not terribly efficient. In fact, they're woefully inefficient, but that's perfectly fine because I can build a whole pile of them and then they can sit there and produce a little bit of power occasionally. Uh, to set up solar panels, we need to have some steel, some poly, and some glass to make solar cells. Once I have the solar cells, we can then build power... Uh, solar panels, which require a whole bunch of solar cells, plus they require some um, electronics too, plus they require some construction parts three. Yes, uh, so I need to start making these. I don't need to make them terribly fast. I just need to start making them. So uh, first thing we're going to want to do is we set up this originally to produce twice as many, um, what are they called? twice as many PCBs uh, to produce twice can I get a correct copy please there to there to produce twice as many uh, electronics too so with those pasted in that should give us a whole bunch of electronics too and then the plan was to make solar cells right here because we need poly which is right here we need steel which is right here and I need glass which happens to be right here catch is it's so not going to work for me because well it's just not going to work it's not going to work uh so i need to rearrange things a little bit we're going to end up putting that one there and then i need to come out five tiles uh you are one two three four five tiles in width. no don't <sighs> five tiles in width there oh yeah it helps if i put some recipes in cool uh so we could put them here to make solar cells where are we solar cells solar cells solar cells cool i could put them there no they'd have to come one more tile down uh yes and i have to get steel up here plus i'd have to get glass which is right here glass we can you're on height number three so let's bring you down to height two uh and run you like that and I have to get steel, which is here. And I guess there's nothing to stop me running it up and straight underneath. Okay, so if we move you over a tile, let's remove that. Uh, it could go away. And come on. Uh, there to there. Cool, build that. And then I can take my steel belt. Uh, let's leave you at height one for the moment and then bring you down to ground level and thread you under there. So it would be poly. You can get to that tile. Okay. 
poly to that tile. Then it would need steel. And then it would need gl glass. But I think my next poly belt is come out one more tile. It does. Okay, so the plan would be one, two, three, four. Four machines? Uh, how much room do we have? That's probably a better question. Uh, so I'm not going to keep going. I'm not going to extend out the PCBs. Uh, actually, one, two, three, four. If I do bring it out, it'll be one, two. Okay, so we can leave that amount of room. Uh, so no, I, I, I think we're going to build them right here. Okay, so we're going to go with Polly plus glass plus steel uh, plus poly plus glass plus steel and you can do the same poly glass okay glass steel okay uh, this is not terribly fast to make it doesn't use a lot of materials uh, in saying that you need a lot of solar cells to make one solar panel so it's it's gonna be one of those slow builds that just continues in the background quietly and we can ignore it and that's going to be the very first thing we're going to get built this episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, built. All right. Uh, we're going to set you up to be solar. Uh, and we'll have an alert. Notify me if you're over 50%. If you're over 50% full, then we'll worry about doing something about you. Um, this is going to use some of our poly production. We don't make a lot of poly. So we're going to have to look at improving that. But at the moment, I have ship access is blocked. So I don't actually have any poly at all so we're just going to burn off what's in the system currently and then after that's burnt off um we will worry about doing something else about it in the future yep yep um like after the docks are done which is actually they're doing it all right yeah no i think i gotta go another tile to the left yeah, edge of the map is right there. So I'm trying to maximize the amount of room we get around the map. Okay, so that's the first thing we want to do. I want to start making solar cells. Yes, yeah, solar cells. Um, like I said, they're not going to be terribly fast, but we'll get there in the end. Uh, all right, next thing I want to do is we have... Where are we? Uh, household appliances. Household appliances is a new product that we can give to the people, and it will make the people happy. Um, conveniently, we're already making household goods, which is the rocking chairs made out of wood steel and a whole bunch of glass this is going to be a you're going to go with a front loading washing machine or dryer or maybe it's one of those multi-purpose it does both the drying and the washing all at one hit i don't know but it's some sort of white good uh it requires electronics one plus electronics two plus steel which is semi okay um well, first thing i want to do is we're going to plug whoop i'm going to plug that hello in it in there. Thank you. Into storage. All right. Step number one, plug that into storage. Step number two is I need to get steel over here. So steel happens to come over here to give us vehicle parts too, uh, which we can. Uh, do I want you? Uh, I think I want you down at ground level. And I need to come out one, two, three, four, five tiles uh, to here. Thank you. Um, all right, five tiles and into there. Next thing I need to do is I need to get Electronics 1 and Electronics 2, which is going to be a bit more awkward. Um, electronics 2, I already have this awesome belt that was going to come over here to do maintenance 2, which we're going to need. Uh, also, Electronics 1 is down here on this belt underground. Uh, we're going to splice off that belt. Yep, up to height two over the top of our science which don't forget technically most of the science can actually be replaced now uh because we don't technically need it anymore uh as we now have the newer and better science and we're going to stop you there so let's give me our electronics one our electronics two uh can i uh bring you to here and i need to bring do, 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 do. Bad belt. Just bring you up a little bit so I can splice you off. Uh, can I do that any closer? 
So, we want to go from here. No, from here. Up. Uh, up to there. And stop. And I should be able to bring that off to there. Uh, okay. Go straight to height three. Run on top of the electronics one belt to here. And then bring you down to height two and drop you there. At the same time, I need to bring this back down to ground level to do maintenance two. So that means maintenance two, which was the very first thing we spoke about, uh, I believe goes there. Yes. And oh. Too close to other connector. Really? You're a pain. Uh, copy. What? Copy. Oh, really? They don't allow that anymore? Well, I guess we're just going to have to move you over, Tal. Uh, okay, so we want to set up that. You're going to do the recyclables recipe first. And honestly that leaves not enough room for trucks to get not a lot of room for trucks to get through so we're going to move you down one more because i don't need a lot of these buildings yet obviously uh so we're just going to run electronics two to here we'll run <sighs> actually i don't have to line them up with the existing one i'm going to offset you just slightly uh, actually, if I offset you like that, so I should go run electronics. No, because then I can't run the mechanic. All right, so I'll put you there instead. We're going to run you into there and you into there. And then we can... Nope. Uh, take this and join that in there. All right. Remove, remove. Uh, that should do us. That should do us. Okay, so let's build that, that, that. Uh, we'll get you built. Do I want to have this built? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Alright, that's those belts built. That's that belt built. Uh, that's that machine and that box built. Cool. Come on. Build faster. I want those belts done before I start plugging things together. All right, so one of these is going to be... Well, you're going to be parts two, I think. It's still going. Hurry up! There you go. And that one. All right, so with that done, we should be able to copy and paste that like so. Uh, I'll have to plug in the first one manually. We'll have to plug you into there with a continuation belt to start with, cut off the extra tile, and then I should, if all goes well, be able to copy and paste, and we'll just say, look, we want, how many do we make? We need, we make 16. How many do we need? I have none flown out yet. Oh, there, there's the first batch here. Okay, I don't know how many we need. Uh, let, let's assume that I need three. We make 16. How many are we making here? We're making 16. Okay, let's go find... Oh, helps if I paste in some recipes. Uh, helps if that belt actually connects. Works 100% better then. Can I turn to a ramp? It's not a ramp. You're being stubborn. There you go. And there you go. And there you go. All right. Build that. Build that. All right. We make 16 of them. Uh, truck cannot reach what destination? Holy crap. What are you guys doing in there? Recover. Recover. Can I get some buildings for vehicles? Yeah, these are called retaining walls. They keep stupid trucks out of stupid holes, which they're not meant to teleport into. Okay. Um, all right, they retain your pathing. All right, so that gives us, what's that, 16, 32, 48 of them. Uh, and you need 16, 16, 
32... Oh, we need 48. 48 electronics. Okay, so a belt moving 60 should be enough. But you're coming off a belt that already moves 60. So we're going to have to obviously apply a little bit of an upgrade magic. Uh, that one's already running at higher speed. I think. Yeah. Yeah, electronics 200. Okay, sure. Uh, let's upgrade that one as well. Because how many are you guys using? 12. 12, 24, 48, 60. Yeah, we could definitely do with just a few more upgrades to make sure these guys run at full speed. All right, maintenance two is now full. We're good to go. Let's go find out how many household appliances the people do want. Question is where to put this damn thing. All right, so we're doing household goods here and here. Uh, these are our two dump towers, which now we can copy and paste. So if I copy and hold down shift and I put you guys here, you're attached to your things. The only thing it's not going to copy across is your squares, which we can just realign the squares to there to there, plus there to there. Uh, we're going to uni build those two. And then it means I can get rid of you two. Uh, at the same time, I think it's time to move the trash. Uh, you know what? Let's bring it all the way down to the end. Uh, okay, priority two, priority four, priority six. Yep, I held down shift. Everything got copied to paste and copied across, which means we're going to delete that one. Uh, this can be our new trash dump or our trash location. And yes, we're still dumping out into the sea. I have spare housing, which I just need to unpause and turn. Oh. Okay, you're attached to which one? This bucket. Which is that bucket. Which is that bucket. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, not everything gets copied across perfectly. Close, but not quite. All right. I want housing services. Uh, we want a household appliances, which is going to be the first building I need that needs maintenance too. Perfect. Um, I guess we put you... Actually, do I put you there with the storage on the left? Um, let's put you here. You guys are going to never be serviced by any bigger trucks than what we have. So I guess we can put you there. Can I set a priority one, please? Because uh, I'm going to want one of them out of there, into there. You're going to be uh, household appliances. Uh, what are you set to? You don't have any import on you. Okay. Uh, it's just the rear one doing the import. All right. Uh, done. You are going to need 37 of them. So I need three mach assembly machines no matter what. Okay, there you go. Uh, and let's plug you in the back. Uh, copy, paste, priority import nine, done. I don't, yeah, I, I, it, okay. Whilst we're here, let's set this up. Uh, you are gonna be a seven. You are also going to be a 7, and you are going to be a 9. And the idea is, as the containers get more and more empty, the priority for the import goes up and up and up. Uh, we'll set you at a... Ten. Yeah, because I don't want a truck to attempt to come here when there's only one or two items. Uh... Well, technically, truck import is off. Because you should have items already being delivered. All right, so we need to go make sure we're making at least how many? 37. And never mind, here comes our first batch right now. Hey! It's a Maphisonic! Like a Panasonic! Excellent. And this is going to give us another 2.8 uni. Not that we really have anything to spend 2.8 uni on, but I'm sure I can find something. Um, More uranium? Uranium, uranium, uranium. Where is our uranium mine? Uh, here. Well, more workers. Housing. 
on balls. All right, well, I guess we're going to harvest some uranium faster. Um, because we're, like, swimming in uni, so we might as well. Uh, okay, what truck can't reach what destination? What are you trying to reach that you're probably not meant to? Yes. Well, you're full. Okay. Turns out we're producing that many recyclables that we need to upgrade the belt. We're now doing over 200. Actually, that's probably just happened. Recyclables. Uh, settlement. Yeah, look at that go up. After we started giving them household appliances. Damn. Okay. I thought it would have been maxed out for a very long time. Uh... But that should empty. Okay. All right. Uh, and what did I say? I, I needed... So we're doing 32, 48. We should be okay. And here we're doing 16, 32... Uh, 32, 40, 48, 56. And how many of those are we using? Most of them. Most of them is the correct answer. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It's also getting to the point where we now have a belt and now a half a belt worth of materials going from here where we assemble everything across to the city every single minute. We also have a, probably not a 200 belt, but a significant amount close to a 200 belt of recyclables coming back. So we're probably getting close to the point where I need to run a recyclable belt from here all the way back to processing and also run two belts, one for the household goods and now one for the household appliances all the way back across the map as well. Where are you trying to go? Because you probably shouldn't be. You're there as well. Okay, recyclables off. Okay, that fixed almost all of them. What do you have? Electronics trying to deliver to the box. Well, I didn't expect that would get blocked. Um, bad luck. That's my answer. Okay, all right. Well, with that done, uh, we're now making solar cells. Uh, we can put down a solar panel. Uh, a solar panel. Cool, let's put you somewhere not in the way. He'll do. Uh, build. On a cloudy day, we're going to get 26 kilowatts worth of free power. Uh, at a cost of 0.4 maintenance, which is actually not that bad, all things considered. Like, it's normally 0.6, but I have enough maintenance boosters and everything else on that it cuts it back a little bit. They are power production one, so they're going to kick in prior to anything else. So, technically, if I put down enough of these, um, we could mean that we're only running on one nuclear reactor at the best of times, but technically we're under one nuclear reactor right at the moment. So, yes. Also means, technically, my nuclear reactor... I need to change these from power production one to power two and paste those across to make sure the solar panels kick in first. But you were not using 15 megawatts worth of power, so I don't think I need the solar panels for just yet, but we've placed them in, we've planned them out. Uh, oh, can I get another dock? No, we are definitely a few tiles short. Uh, What's your overlap pattern? Your overlap pattern is... There. There. Okay, so I need one to the left and a few to the right. Uh, yeah, that, that'd do me. That'd do me right there. All right, uh, so we need to get some more dock space done. We need to get some more digging done, some more drilling done. Um, as you can see, Mega Ex Excavator team is doing a wonderful job already. We'll have them just keep trimming and digging whatever they need to just to get progress. It's flat. Yeah, that's flat. Uh, getting progress in and done. We're making a beeline towards gold. We're filling this in slowly as we're just using dirt. It's going to take a while because I really, really want to concentrate the rock towards well the dock and also towards more farming because as soon as i get this 
boarded in, at least with rock, and get those piers done. We can just fill in the middle with anything, be it soil, be it rock, be it whatever. I do have a lot of rock here. I also have not nearly enough trucks, so... More trucks time? Yeah, but it does mean I'm going to leave this episode here. It's going to be a little bit short, but then again, I feel a little bit miserable, so it's probably okay. Next episode... Scrap. Uh, next episode, hopefully we can... Random trucks just driving past. Um, Hopefully we can look at... I don't know. Probably farming. No, probably docks. Probably docks. Um, I want to look at oil and look at redoing... Oil, expanding oil, and nuclear power. There's a few things I want to do. Uh, where are you? You're right there. Perfect. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely want to have a second nuclear reactor because, well, we could afford a second nuclear reactor without an issue. Uh, at the same time, we need to extend the, the, the farming and we also need to rebuild food. But again, that's going to require one hell of an excavator team to do a hell of a lot of work. Um, also, there's the team of captains, so maybe we'll look at that. Oh, and gold. Yeah, I got no idea what's in for the next episode. But with all that said, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right. Bye.